At times, yes. Rule 42 of the internet. Yep. Oh, you know what? That was the spaceport, so now i got to write it back. That happens. So you're you're not on PTU then? No, uh, I've still got 11 and a half gigs to download it, it looks like. so. Okay, yeah, it took, it took a little while for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just stay on here. We'll go back to the uh, spaceport. Um, yeah, I was on 3.9, and uh, the train was jacked at, at this city, New Babbage, where um, I got on, and the train left without me, even if I was on it. It was like a, it was like a weird bug. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, I've had that in. yeah. It's happened to me a number of times as well on the 3. Yeah, 3. so it's... I definitely was warned that there's a lot of bugs. As was I, and they weren't kidding. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs, but it's pretty cool that you can actually... I mean, I, I'm impressed with where this is going to end up. How long it takes to get there, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like you. I'm, I'm impressed with the vision that they have and where they're anticipating it will end up. Same yeah. time, it's been in development for a number of years to get to this point, so... Yeah, and they're making they're making a ton of money. Yeah, that's the 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 business model gets me because they've got to be making a ton of money off of the pledges. Yeah, the pledges and the and the some of these ex crazy expensive ships. I mean, I have friends that have bought eleven hundred dollar ships. It's like what? Like eleven $1 hundred yeah. real dollars? Yeah. It's like whoa. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine here in town introduced me to the game and then he introduced me to some people that had a few ships such as that one of them was a large gunship and it's an amazing ship don't get me wrong but it still was a 400 hundred dollar ship or something like that so yeah they're 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 smart because they're funding this amazing development but i i must say even with the bugs i'm still intrigued by the the potential and i'm right there with you yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's, I'm, I'm intrigued by it, but at the same time, it'd be nice if it was a bit more stable and you weren't always mid-quest and disconnected. Yeah, like what just happened to me, but I almost feel like that was a rite of passage because I've heard of other people, who friends of mine, who said, I tried it, it was too buggy, I was trying to deliver a shipment, and I kept whatever, blah, 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 blah. But I almost feel like that's a rite of passage. Now I can say I got all the way, it took me forever to get to where my pickup was, and then I died. <laughs> yeah, it'll happen numerous times. Yeah. But at the same time, we all appreciate that it's an alpha. So yeah, and I went in with I went in I, my eyes, you know, I went in with full expectation that we were going to have these problems. So, all right. Yep. So, do you think yeah. I should do the freelancer now? Yeah, I would try the freelancer, and then once you get into get into the freelancer, I would uh, set your bed as the yeah basically go lay down in bed and see if that helps next time around. No okay. guarantees though. Yeah. All right, we're hangar three. Have you ran into the bug where it doesn't actually pull your ship out? I haven't run into that bug yet, nope. I ran into a bug where I fell off of a ship. I've run into the train bug. And I've yeah, ran into, I, I also got stuck in an elevator once, so. Yeah, yeah, that sounds familiar as well. Uh. All right, hangar three. We'll see if I encounter the, the planes not in the hangar bug. So you're up very late or early morning. Uh, yeah, just a bit. I happened to see your notification that you were streaming, and I was like, well, I'm still up. I might as well give it a look. There you go. Well, this is quite the good-looking ship. Yeah, it's a sharp little ship, and it's a wow. considerably larger. It's got, uh, I think, 60 cargo units, but they don't really have... Like, what you're doing now isn't technically a cargo mission, or, like, hauling cargo it's more just doing a delivery so you'll see when you get there you go and you actually pick up a box and carry it around and just set it down in the ship okay but it's my understanding that and i haven't had the opportunity to utilize this ship efficiently but you can basically go around and do like purchasing cargo in one place and selling it in another place okay however due to the connection issues you've just experienced that it is potentially problematic because for example you go to a spaceport a and purchase thirty thousand credits worth of product and get disconnected oh yeah, yeah. and it took a while to get to thirty thousand. exactly yeah. so 
it's a very high risk scenario at the moment. So as I understand it, most people are not doing cargo runs. They're doing like delivery missions, such as what you're doing and uh, mercenary missions and things yeah. of that nature. I'm assuming you there enter this. There are two this... ways to enter this vehicle. Okay. From the uh, back? The first or... is in the back. So you can go back here and like we can just do a quick room around of it. Open the door and it'll there we pop go. down in front of you. And you can come in through here. Um, if you have multi-crew, if you have a couple of people in your party, if you look straight above you, there's a gun turret on the top of the ship. If you back up just a little bit, you'll see it right there. And if you free look on it, you can actually hop into the turret seat just to look around. Oh. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting into the turret, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's kind of neat how it makes sense. It'll, like, it'll throw you in. Theoretically, it'll take you up there, or you just got bugged. <laughs> oh, I'm I up there. Eventually get you. Okay. <laughs> and so, yeah, you can, you know, uh, a multi-crew scenario, you can actually have somebody operating the turret on the top of the vessel. All right, I guess. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then you can free look to get back out of it. You have to find the hot spot, if you will, to exit it. So I'm, am I in the pilot ship? Am I in the pilot seat all of a sudden? No. Or am I still in the, in the turret still? You're still in the turret. Oh. And there are like different fire modes. You can kind of, by default, it fires all of the guns at once, but you can do the stagger mode and oh, okay. change your slew rate and various things from here. Oh, switch fire mode. Okay, yep. Uh, decrease sensitivity, reset. All right. And then to get out, I'm assuming that's... I think it's down on this one or to the right. It's basically you just always have to look around the edges until you can find the exit thing. Maybe way down? Maybe Y will work. Yeah, Y should work. That's right. Kind of pause there for a second. Yeah, it's not the most seamless of transitions. Kind of feels like it's stuck. There is that aspect to this game. Nope, you still have. Oh, what? Right now, powering off. Now I'm hitting that Z to go into free look. Yeah, it's not letting me out. So why is not letting you out at all? There's got to be an exit around there somewhere. Toward. Press Y. Yeah, I'm pressing Y. Oh, there it goes. Now it's going. Okay, I just had to. It's. Is the difference between oh. free look and not free look? So. Okay, and then these are your. Well, you're still transitioning. All right, now you can turn around and go back towards the front of the okay. vessel. Oh, automatic doors yeah, are good. automatically open. Yep. And then this oh, and is there's kind of my bridge. Area. Oh, wow. Okay. But if you want to set your respawn to the bed real quick, you'll want to go back to the crew. Oh, yeah. Good point. Let me get up here again. Okay. So use enter yeah, bottom bunk. Point. Yeah. And I think that's all you have to do that's just been my lay down that you have okay. to lay down in it to activate it whether or not it works i don't know but yeah you can just hit y to get back up i did have the uh opportunity I... to get into an icu in one of them and that does work yeah i did that with the karak my friend had a karak and he we set our, in fact, uh, another guy came in and he had an 890 and we set the ICU as our, as our spawn. For when you die and that did work, but yeah. I've never actually, even though I've set my respawn to the bed in here, I've never ran into the bug after doing so. But, so you probably want to, uh, yeah, power it all up or not so much open the exterior, but power it on and get clearance for takeoff. 
engines are on, but I'm not sure if power's on. I don't think it is. Oh, flight ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is an interesting... Oh, yeah. yeah. So I actually your... use my honeycomb alpha with this one just because it kind of resembles it. Carinado made this one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go into the Moby Glass. And go to Contracts Manager. Uh, okay, the shipment is waiting for collection at the Rayari Cantwell Research Outpost on Clio. And it will need to be delivered to Loveridge Mineral Reserve on Lyria. Okay, whatever. She's trying to get her feet wet, right? Okay, that's accepted. Now we need to go to... Um, uh, F11 comms. Through, you, yeah, you can either do it through the ship's comms or you can do it through your All little... Right, we're hailing them. Pit boy looking thing. You registered for this earlier today, Iowa Scotsman? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I it's super buggy, but super super fun so far. See, this one's kind of cool because like there's the pilot seat, the co-pilot seat, then you can actually have two other people operating like a right behind the pilot and co-pilot seats operating different aspects of the ship and then you can have a gunner in it so technically five people i suppose okay i'm raising up a little bit it says collision but i think i'm clear yeah you look like it Nighttime. Be, uh, what I'm going to say to you, Iowa, is just be patient. Because this thing is all, is so buggy. Alright, now we're... Oh, it's got reverse. It's got... That's cool. Okay. So now I'm going to hit spacebar and get a little bit of altitude here. Okay, so there were some people that were theorizing that it was a bug that gave everyone the freelancer for free, but now they're thinking it was strategic. Yeah, that's how it was explained to me, was that it was a strategic workaround to a known in-game bug. Yeah. Which only per theoretically will only persist during... as long as that bug persists. Yeah. So I'm going to go into Moby Glass, and I'm going to go to Skyline... And then I'm going to scroll out till I see my pickup. There's a way to do like, oh, there it is, pickup. Set the route. Oh, we set it. Let's point it straight up. And let's... We'll just launch out of here with W for a moment. Positive rate. Colin V Games, how you doing? Yep. Pause. Oh, crap. He's right. Gear up. Because I think my gear's still down. So hit N. This is pretty cool. Okay. So now. Yeah, and see, like last time, how your mouse reticle wasn't showing up, and now it's back. Yeah, now it's back. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably not high enough to do quantum here, am I? No, I don't think so. Not at 6,700 meters. All right, so we're going to just go up. 
Alright, so I'll raise up. There we go. Raise up our auto throttle and hit cruise and we'll just go straight up for a bit here until we get... Cheers to you, Colin. Echo, stream lights purple. There we go. All right, now we're at 9,000. So now I'll take my cruise control back. I'm wondering if the reason you were having red, experiencing the negative G red out earlier was because you were beyond the red mark. That, that could be. Which I think is the upper limit of maneuvering speeds. All right, I thought if I hit B, there it goes. It's calculating there. Oh, it says obstructed. Yeah, so, you're still too low. Oh, really? Okay. Because you're basically obstructed by the planet still. Okay. All right, let's aim up. Let's spool up here our auto throttle. Get a little higher. All right, slowly, slowly, but surely I'm learning. Yeah, it, it it's new. It, it is certainly very different than most of the flight sims. Okay, you think that I could get there at this point? I'm not sure where they classify. The uh, it still says basically. obstructed. All right, so I'll go a little faster here. Once it says not obstructed. Up to flight level one zero 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 zero. Yeah. Well, tonight I also got shot at, as you probably saw. That was quite interesting. It happens. S still says obstructed. Hmm. I wonder if I should pick another spot that's near there in the uh, Obi glass. Um, so if I go back to Skyline. I'm often you basically just have to pick something away from the current planet. Yeah. Like, if you go back up to Port uh, Port Tressler, that's at least outside the at or nearly outside the atmosphere. And then you should theoretically be able to go directly from Port Tressler to Clio. So you'll have to clear the route first, I think. And it took it. Oh, did it? Okay. I'm going to bring my... the triangle up in the upper left. Yeah. There we go. Pick up. There we go. Okay, it's spooling. I think you actually got... Uh, I got the I got original. The yeah. So you'll need to... Oh, I... it's not actually logging onto that one locking onto that one so just point up to your Tressler port at the top of the screen where is it just follow that arrow that's at the top that's pointing you towards oh yeah it. yeah there we go I'm getting used oh, to okay there we go behind you. <laughs> ah there we go now it's calibrating there you go there we go It's like a VOR. Kind of using it like that, yeah. There we go, there's pickup. And now you can go back and change your map or set your destination on the map again. There we go, it's calibrating. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it turned off. Spool up again. You have to hold B down to 
actually oh, true. hold it down okay rather than just hit it again yeah and then at some point you can let go yeah after like a couple of seconds or something it'll yeah i think it's two or three seconds it actually engages but you'll see it actually take off and you can let go Okay. Quantum travel complete. There's our pickup. Maybe we can. Sp yep. And we spooled up to our pickup. Wow. Yep. Jump out. Jump yeah. to destination. Yeah. Yeah, Colin. That's what I've been. That's been my approach. Jump out and jump to the destination. But I don't know if it's right. The sounds are pretty impressive. Yeah, I agree. Uh, they they seem to have done a lot of work on the uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word for it the the not back end stuff. You know, like the graphics, the sound, some of that stuff. They seem to have done a lot of work on it. Yeah. All right, we're just in traveling here so I just got here never really seen Star Citizen before do either of you have a comparison to Elite I haven't played Elite maybe I've played Elite yeah it's <laughs> it's not a Elite is Elite something you can get off and explore though yes I think they actually did uh, implement first person walk around modes and whatnot uh, if I recall correctly it's been probably a year since I've last played Elite Dangerous if I recall correctly, you can't really do like first person shooter aspects. It's just, it's more walk around and do things. Mm. And yeah, you can do the surface vehicles, but they are similar in that regard. Uh, Elite Dangerous also has multiple ships that you can get a hold of. Um, to me, Elite Dangerous is far beyond alpha. It's not nearly as buggy, it's just a bit of a different feel to it. Hard to do pickups at night. Uh, if you press T, I believe it is, you'll turn your headlamps on. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! We almost like. I told you that earlier. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, we almost impelled into the ground. That was awesome. Oh. Yes, terrain, terrain. I need to get some altitude here so I don't die. Oh, that was close. <laughs> terrain, terrain. Oh, where, where is it? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Thought we, we almost died right there. All right, I'm just going to go forward a little bit here. And this is normally where I turn off the cruise control and just use the uh, W. Yeah, that's. I, I'm assuming my cruise is off. No, it's still on as long as that arrow is on. Uh, what arrow? In the bottom left on your. There you go. All right, I'm just seeing what it is. Okay. Yeah. And then the horizontal white line is where you have your maximum throttle set to at the moment with your mouse wheel. Okay. Collision alert. What? I don't see any collision. Uh, it's the terrain. I guess it wants... I, there's not a landing pad here, it looks like. So I, I need just to pick a spot, huh? That's what I normally do. I just pick a spot when there's not one. Alright. I'm going to try to land this bad boy and see what happens. I better put my landing gear down. Yeah, and if you look at your heads-up display, there's actually a landing gear indicator. Uh, we got a follow. We got cactus plants. Plant X with the follow. Thank you. Uh, okay, so gear. Uh, I don't see gear, but I think I lowered it. It's lowered. So you see in your heads up display there how you've got like, uh, you know, 89% fuel, then the energy usage, zero G. Yeah. The down arrows are your gear. Ah, okay. I 
dot. And if I held down and it would auto land, but that's maybe only for a pad. I've heard that it works. I've never had it work yet. I think that's probably just for a pad, not for what we're doing here. Hey, I landed. Just popped in to say, hey, y'all enjoy. All right, take care. All right. Now, let's go out of free look here. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, I'll just power this off. And I'll hit Y. Okay, so far so good. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> this is awesome. No problem. There's a second exit on this one. Since we came in the back door, we can actually go out that one to your right. Oh. Uh, before after the bunks though. Oh no, before the. Okay, yep, I see that. Is it the airlock? Yep. yep. And if you open the airlock, and then if you engage the ladder on the outside, it should say. Exit, exit ship or open ladder? Exit ship. It'll take you all the way out. It'll actually do the open ladder function and get you out of it. Okay. Very cool. So that's just the two entrance points on this ship. Do I have a flashlight? Yes. You can hit T again and there's a light on your helmet. Uh, it's a little bit crazy here in the, with the wind and everything. All right. I don't know if it's letting me run or not. But I'm heading to the pickup. Uh, so while you're moving forward, if you mouse wheel up all the way, it will, or you can use your mouse wheel to adjust your speed of travel. Oh. And holding down shift is your run function. I'm holding down shift, but I didn't know about the uh, scroll wheel because I knew that was with ships, but I didn't know that was with people. That's the other side it looks like. Or no, it's in here. Yep, it's in there. It is cold here, I think. Yes, very. And you are ill-equipped to be out in the cold. All right, yeah, because there's some frost on my glass. So this is where uh, this is my first ever airlock. Heard about this? Yep. Can you just cycle. I saw this on a video where you just cycle the the airlock then. Ah. This guy's just hanging out. He's so bored. He hasn't seen anyone in a week. He just talked yeah, to me. That would be one of the most boring jobs, sitting there doing nothing. Do I make a pickup? He, I've never had it work talking to him. What you want to do is you want to turn around and look at the little Amazon Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might as well try it with him and see what happens. Something I can help you with. Something I can help you with. You've got the wrong person. Oh, yep. You got the wrong person. All right, pick up. Stand by. Ah. Carry. All right, we yep, got a box in our box. hands. Now I have to depressurize again, or? Just open, yeah, you have to open it, cycle it, go back outside. Should have got a nice cup of hot cocoa or something before I. Yeah, the FBO didn't seem to have cookies. I don't know why. Yeah, you need some chocolate chip cookies. Do I have to drop this box though to get up the stairs? <laughs> Surprisingly, not. It's kind of hilarious, but you do need to drop it once you've gotten up the stairs. Uh, or you can go, I want to go to the, the back. Door. Yeah. Oh, we're oh we hit a rock. Oh no wonder we had a collision alert. We I think you kind of got cozy with that rock, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm fighting this wind. Yeah, Max will not be happy. Exactly, Epic Nobody, yeah. Another oh. thing to be aware of, when you're outside like this, you see your survival estimate is 20 minutes on the bottom left. Is that how much I can survive out here? Yeah, due to the suit that you're wearing not being acclimated or not being proper for this climate. You'll basically freeze to death after that. So 
Now that you're inside, you can basically look at the box and drop it somewhere inside the ship. So I can put it right over here in the corner. Yeah. Place. I've had bad luck with place. I did drop and it was okay, but when I placed they don't, it, it stayed on the planet. They don't tell you what's in the box. Yeah, I've never seen what's in the box. Could be anything. What did, oh, Automon didn't like the P word. <laughs> Yeah, see how you've got the two indicators on your screen for like where to collect and where to drop it off? I suggest trying to take off and see if it uh, if the shipment stays with you. As I said, I've had problems in the past where when I placed it, it actually stayed on the planet and went through my ship. Ah, okay, we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, I need to set my route though. Yes. So let's go back to Skyline. And let's scroll out. How, do you know how to rotate this? Because it, it seems like at one point I could rotate this like three-dimensionally. Right-click will allow you to pull it around. Left-click will allow you to kind of rotate. Oh, there we go. That left-click. Okay. But yeah, you're going to want to scroll much further out to get to your destination, I think. Yep. There we go. Not let me select the shipment. So I'm going to go to this comma ray instead. Yep. Okay, I think that's set. All well, right. That's the shipment, though. That's not the destination, right? Uh. Oh, I thought that was our destination, Cleo. I th you picked it up on uh, Cleo. I think you're on Cleo now. Oh, I'm glad you pointed. That. Can you imagine if I went all the way there and I realized I had reversed everything. Good catch. So I the think. shipment is there, and then our yeah. delivery is somewhere else. Keep scrolling out. I think. Because you're still around the Microtech planet. Oh, wow. It's far away. Okay. There you go. Oh, that was close. I almost went right back to where we came from. <laughs> Thank it you. It would have been too detrimental, though. I mean, you would have at least gotten out of the atmosphere. The P word showed up on your phone because you're a mod, Iowa. And you could allow or disallow that if you wanted to. Whoa. I launched. We were we were kind of snuggled up to a rock. I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna get a lot of altitude before I. Add you can hit T again for your light, your lamps. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I gotta give it credit. The visuals are stunning in this game. The other That's night, totally I had some Minecraft type textures that were on the surface of the planet, and I was like, "What is this?" And yeah, 3.9.1 um, didn't have the issue. Yeah, the game looks pretty amazing, although it also has its bugs. Yeah. I like it so far, though. I'm not, I'm not kidding around. I like it. My friend told me that they uh, have a kind of meme going where it's they've they bought JPEGs. All the people that have purchased these ships with real world currency have essentially purchased JPEGs because it's not a guaranteed end game thing yet. <laughs> purchased PNGs, maybe. More than. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It didn't give you the option to do anything? Oh, okay. That's weird. Yeah, you probably saw it because you're a mod, though. But Iowa, be super patient with this game. 
super patient and then get a like join us in a party um and in fact i would if i would get ready for the 22nd which is in three days where it's free and then make sure that you download 3.9.1 but although i don't think it lets you download unless you it's in the free period so but yeah we're gonna probably be on maybe by the time invictus week comes out it'll be 3.9.2 <laughs> who knows three days yeah it's a holiday weekend. Yeah, they picked they picked a good weekend um, to make it free for sure. For anyway, for the U.S. What holiday is it? Um, um, is it Memorial? Is it? I think it's Memorial Day. Isn't it over there still? I think it's Memorial. Yeah. May. It's Labor Day, September. I get those two mixed up sometimes. Oh, delivery point. Okay, so I've got to travel through the planet. So I got to get to the other side here. So I've got to pick a point. I'm assuming that I want to quantum somewhere else first to get on the other side of this planet. Yeah, you might see if there's happens to be a beacon above you. Yeah. Normally I just Someone said F2 gets you to the map quickly. There we go. Yep. Uh, maybe we should go to Arc four first or is there a beacon near the planet that we should try to go to first maybe like this I one I normally look out and there's one near the planet alright right, we set the route there yep that's our that's, that's that probably gotta look up oh yeah there's the arrow well, that was it that little square box. Oh, that was it? Yep. That square box is, was the beacon? That little, that one is the beacon that you're going to. Okay, can I, I can quantum to that? Yeah, you should be able to. However, um, before you quantum, yeah. notice that there's a shipment icon on your screen. Is that something that is still on the planet? It says deliver shipment to Loveridge. Oh, I don't know. Should I go back in the back and see if it's in the back still? Yeah, you might real quick. Okay. Does the plane 